Welcome back to Azure This Week. Or if this is your first time you're watching this show, then what took you so long? You have come to the best place on the interwebs for bite-sized news from the cloud. And before we start, have a look at where we are. Yep, we are on my farm. Yes, really, in rural Australia. But Lama first go through what we have on this episode. A new intelligent security tool called Microsoft Azure Sentinel. Azure Monitor AI Ops Alerts with dynamic uh, thresholds. And Java support for Azure Functions is now in general availability. You are watching Azure This Week, the show with the fluffiest clouds and the best serverless functions. Security is a field within technology becoming forever more important. Attackers are getting more sophisticated and companies and individuals are exposing themselves in a lot more ways online than ever before. To face this challenge head on and help security professionals see the threats clearer and eliminate any distractions, Microsoft Azure has created Sentinel. It is a security information and event management tool or SIEM tool designed to stop any llama drama you might encounter. Azure Sentinel provides intelligent security analytics at cloud scale for your entire enterprise. Azure Sentinel makes it easy to collect security data across your entire hybrid organization from devices to users to apps to servers on any cloud. You can plug in data sources from any cloud provider that supports data feeds. It uses the power of artificial intelligence to ensure you are identifying real threats quickly and unleashes you from the burden of traditional SIEMs by eliminating the need to spend time on setting up and maintaining and scaling infrastructure. Because it is already on Azure and it already knows which resources you use, no problema. Microsoft Azure Sentinel is available in preview today in the Azure portal. Azure Monitor now offers AI ops alerts using dynamic thresholds. And with dynamic thresholds, you no longer need to manually, yay, identify and set thresholds for alerts. Uh, the alerts leverages advanced machine learning capabilities to learn metrics, historical you know, behavior, while identifying patterns and anomalies that indicate possible service issues. Dynamic thresholds eliminates the need for specific domain knowledge, yay, with the use of your machine learning algorithms. Metric Alerts with Dynamic Threshold is currently available for free, free, during the public preview. The serverless news of the week is the general availability of Java support for Azure Functions. You can build your functions based on Java SE 8 LTS and the Functions 2.0 runtime while being able to use the platform of choice, being Windows, Mac, or Linux. Using the Azure Functions Maven plugin, you can create, build, and deploy your functions from any Maven-enabled project and popular IDEs and editors such as Eclipse, IntelliJ, and Visual Studio Code can be used to develop and debug your Java functions. And at a Llama Guru, we are big fans of serverless, so much so that we have our own conference entirely on the topic. In fact, the next serverless conference has been announced for 7 to 9 October in New York. And if you want to become a sponsor, a speaker, or attend, use the link below to find out a lot more. This time I covered on the show a new intelligent security tool called Microsoft Azure Sentinel, which enables uh, SecOps, nice term, uh, people to be amazing and be in charge of their cloud infrastructure. Azure Monitor AI Ops Alerts with dynamic thresholds, which uses machine learning uh, to create more effective alerts with less maintenance. And finally, Java support for Azure Functions is now in general availability. Next time on the show, there will be a quiz on everything I just mentioned, right? So keep studying, go now. All right, I'm gonna have to go and hit the hay, but for now, keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. <laughs> <laughs>